What's up everybody? Thanks for watching again. Just hanging out with Matt again on this cold Saturday evening. So Matt's been progressing pretty nicely with what we've been working on. He, he played Wednesday and shot 32 on the front at Cedar Bay, which is pretty good. And then came back down to earth with a 38, but <laughs> it wasn't ball striking related, so that's always a good sign. It's all but hey, one under is always still a, good, still a good score. So we're just gonna see how he's swinging it right now, see what we need to work on today. But uh, as we move deeper into the off season, which should probably start for Matt within the month or so, um, a big thing for me is just really tightening up what we've worked on already and then trying to add some more speed to it. So, so 180 ball speed is kind of the goal I have with Matt. Um, he hovers around 170, he's topped out at 177 I think that one time at. 177 I think you topped out was at. was probably the absolute most, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to try to get it out to 180. Um, at the very least, play and live at 175 to 177. Yeah. With the with the second gear to get it up to 180. So we'll see how the next six months go. Um, but so far, Matt's been hitting it pretty good so far. No toe shots recently. Uh, a lot less. Okay, that's good. It's becoming a little bit more of a rare miss, I guess. That's good. That's good. That last one's pretty good. 900 club speed, 135 ball speed. It's pretty good. That was hit well. Um, so so. For pe people who haven't watched the last lesson, Matt was struggling big time with hitting some toe impact and it was really bugging him. And, but we, we've got that sorted out now. How's the swing feeling so far? <clears throat> uh, it feels okay. Yeah, that's good. Just trying to get my, my sequencing going. Yeah. I really like the rehearsal you've been doing. But your backswing and transition looks way better. Your hands aren't coming out towards the ball anymore. No way. Which is good to see. Yeah, I haven't looked at my swing on, on video probably since our last session, uh -huh. whenever that was. Just a little bit of a miss hit. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a good strike. Have you felt like you've been slowly using your legs more in the swing? That's pretty much the only thing that I've been working on. I don't yeah. like. I'm not pretty much not working on my backswing or anything else. That's good. Backswing looks like it's in a great spot. Yeah. So when I go to the range, I've just been trying to warm up with like kind of slow motion rehearsals where I do yeah. kind of like this, and then really squat into the ground. Yeah. And push like off I'll, and rotate at the same time, right? I'll hit a bunch of shots to like the 150 stake at the gotcha. range. Just really working on the movement. Yeah. That's like kind of like this, I guess. Good, I like that. Like I'll like hit a bunch like that to warm up. Good. <clears throat> Let me take a couple of videos. Do do at normal speed again. Normal speed? Yeah. So I take a couple of videos here. Really good. Really good there. Yeah, hit hit a couple more. Let me get one from face on. Swinging it fast. You're living at living at a hundred, which is nice. Yeah, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm swinging very hard either, to be honest. Good. Yep. How much effort do you feel like you're putting it into it right now? Probably like seventy at most. Interesting. Maybe less. That's good. Yeah, I think the 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 motion of getting my legs into it. I don't really feel like I'm going at it anymore. Uh huh. To get similar kind of ball speeds. Right. Okay, let's, then let's try like really gearing up over the next little bit then. Okay. 
So watch this for a sec. So when you watch yourself on video, that was a pretty hard 138 and a half. I would like to see this. So that looks better. You're not as right in the backswing anymore. Which Falling is good. backwards, yep. But then when you move forward, you see how your right leg stays very bent right there through the like ball? Past, like past impact? Past it, way past impact. Your right leg is still bent. You see that? Until like the very end of your finish. Okay. So you're not truly ripping off the ground. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want you to really make sure as you like, I love your rehearsal, but as you push up, you know how your right leg actually straightens as a result of you pushing up. Mm -hmm. You got to feel I gotta exactly more, that. more of that and more conviction. Yes. Good. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's awesome. try it. So it's really going to feel like you're just ripping the ground apart as you, as you push back up. Yes. Good. Good try. <clears throat> Closer. What that feel like? Uh, it's kind of like I guess the. Um the tricky part for me is when I feel like my leg is straightened up, uh -huh. I also feel like I probably didn't really squat much to begin yeah. with. So I don't think of it as you need to straighten your right leg. Think of it as just a full push up off the ground as you rotate, right, okay? Up. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just getting that. I mean, honestly, it's probably taken me three weeks to the point where I'm even probably moving my legs at all. Yes. Downwards. <laughs> so that, that is, I guess, the first piece. I think that was better? Mm, I don't know. Not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad. Like you're I'm going based on how it feels in the finish, I right. guess. Well, your finish, you should feel like you're more um, pushed up, glutes squeezed hard, right. pelvis more towards forward, the target. up and forward. Okay. It's like hips extended. Closer. Closer. Like none of those are hit very well, but no. um, the motion feels a little bit different. Because you can see still your left hip. There's no pushing down into your minimal pushing down in your left foot. Yeah. Right? Just just for the sake of the learning, it's yeah, how you sure. really push into it lower so you can push back up. Exactly. And make sure you're pushing back up before your arms come ripping through it, right? Right. Right. But when you rehearse that, you kind of just rehearse the, the push down. It needs to be down and rotate at the same time. Right. More, do that one more time. Do the first half. Okay, so down and rotate. Okay, stop there. Stop there. Good. More back of your legs. Do you feel the difference? Mm -hmm. So this should be engaged. And then from there, then you go down and around, up and around. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yes. And then punch the screen. Exactly. You got to punch the screen with your pelvis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's try. It seems like one or the other is there in each swing. It's just yes. not, it's not both. It, blending the two together is a yeah, tricky part. It's be an issue. 138 and a half. Again. <clears throat> I mean, I probably, to be fair, have not got a grasp of this, the, even the first half of it yet. Yes. I don't the, think. But the good thing now is, watch this. I don't think you, you you're right. You, don't, you haven't owned it yet. But at least you can see you're trying to push up because you see how you actually straighten a little bit. Okay. And then it just kind of re-bends from there. Right. You know what I mean? It kind of just like, kind of like recoils like a, a little reaction. bit. Like a reaction, yeah, yeah. So, but you can see as you push down and right there, you can see a straightening and then it kind of just goes back down bend, And then you push it back up again. Interesting. So show me, a, show me the rehearsal again. So go to the top. So do the first half of your downswing and squat and rotate. And then really punch the screen with your pelvis. Push it down and up, 
beautiful. Good. You see how that finish was different, right? Yeah. Because your upper body didn't go as forward in that finish. Yeah, I felt this. Yeah, way more taller finish, right? Right. So try to get to that finish for me. So do it at half speed first. Really try, really try to get there. Closer. Was that half speed? No. It never is. <laughs> so you see that? And then rip up. Yeah. You see how your legs are actually ripping up now? Yeah. And you see how much more extended you are in the finish? Yeah. Compared to you've always been a little bit too. You yeah. see that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't want that for you, okay? Um, which is your upper body getting chasing that way yeah. in, the, in the follow through. Gotcha. Um, but when you actually go, it's close, it's less. It looks a little it's bit different. Yeah. yeah, a little bit different. Correct. So then we want to try to feel some of that, okay? Okay. Good try. <laughs> Ball. Better, good. Does that feel different? Yeah, it feels way different. Yeah, punch the screen with your pelvis. Okay, that's different. Yeah, it does feel different. <clears throat> Are these the same effort? Or are these slower? Effort? I'm just uh, honestly, I feel like I'm doing I'm doing everything in slow motion until here, and then I'm probably okay, gotcha, gotcha, interesting. Going for I, I, for whatever reason, that just is the way it's sequencing for me. Okay, good. I think that was probably the best attempt that I've made. Upper body chased. A lot less. Less, okay. Yeah. I mean, the contact is starting to feel different. I think the starting point is getting a little more left. Yes. Just on those couple. Not bad. You can also have your hips feel like it slides a little bit. Remember that feel? Back? Yeah. Yeah, that's about, you feel the difference? Yeah. So do that again. So do that load. Yeah, exactly, good. Good, good. What that feel like? Uh, different in many ways. It just, I felt more in, in balance, I guess, a little that's more centered. So watch, so we know, we've talked about your hips like to move towards the target. Uh-huh. Okay, right? that's better, right? That's nah. last time? Yeah. Okay. See yeah, the yeah. This is what we want. Yeah. So a little bit, oh, for me, feels like lateral. Like slide, yeah. But it's not really, is it? But see how yeah. this looks a lot cleaner then. Yeah, it does. So we want that, okay? <clears throat> that should help you go into the push and rotate a lot easier. Because you'll be already slightly behind the ball. Yeah. And it should make it more dynamic too as a result, right? So now you can feel like you're going slide, and then you can push up hard towards the target. Good. Really good there. That's a different flight. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, a little bit different. One thirty seven. So that's interesting. The previous two that were one thirty eight were you pulled it a little bit. Yes. Right? That's why it's just a little bit less loft gave you that ball speed. Yep. But this one actually started left of the line. So I actually started left of the line and then ended up basically just straight. They didn't even cross the line. Yeah. And you still got to one thirty seven. So that's that's interesting. That's good. Yeah, that felt way different. In what way? I just, I think a lot of it is the finish where I, I feel, like before I really feel a lot of this. Yeah. 
as my kind of natural uh -huh. follow through. Uh -huh. And so that one, I kind of felt. Yes, good. Yeah. But you're still. Way. This way. You're yeah. in, in the process of trying to push, <clears throat> actually. I, well, I'm, I'm feeling it from my lower body, I guess. Yes, and I guess sure. my upper body sure. is coming back. I, just, I guess it just gets left behind more than you've been, you've been used to. Correct. Good. Really good. Yes. Good. Really good. Felt similar to the last one? It did, yeah. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, the balance of it is really... Yeah, 136. And that wasn't struck very well, to yes. be honest. Yes, exactly. Good. So let's do a few more at this speed, and then we're going to try to really rev it up, okay? okay? And then we'll look at the driver. That's okay. Faxon wasn't as good, though, I would say. I mean, really picky here. It's just not as not as slidey. Right. As the last, as the previous two. Still pretty good though. There we go, yeah. And then push down and rotate and then push back up, exactly. Good, really good. It's Lost closer. my balance a little bit. That's okay. So in terms of movement, I think like we're really close to being done. Like once this movement all sets in, then we can do more like activation work through drills. Right. To get your muscles firing harder. Yeah. But in terms of like just just swing alone, it's pretty much there. It's just this last little piece, I would say. Exactly. I, I think this will really help. I mean, I've been honestly been hitting it a lot straighter than yeah, that's than good. the beginning of the year, so I'm happy with it. But I can see this kind of taking it a little bit further. Good try. But yeah, it's, it's exciting because like, I mean, we we obviously work through the summer. We had to move a little bit slower in the summer just because you're still playing. Yeah. But we got a lot done in the summertime. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, a lot of the stuff is, I think, is very comfortable now. Yeah. To where I can pick, like the last month, I've been just feeling that motion. Yes. I like and now that. I can, I feel like I can add this. Yes, the push up back up. The to push it. up, I think I can get, I can yes, get after for that. Sure. And definitely feeling slide. Right. Will help because it'll help you minimize your turn a little bit, which is partially why your hips go towards the target during your back swing. Yeah, as I'm falling this way. Yeah. Yeah, so really show me a slidey one here. Yes, exactly. That's the feel. Hit it. Oh, close. But much better load here now. See that? Yeah, definitely. I like it. Yeah, the I mean the the difference in the follow through. It's funny that that's what it is. Yeah. Because I've over the years I've tried to feel like I stay behind the ball through impact. Uh huh. But that really never did anything because no matter what I did, no matter what, it would eventually just do this. For sure. It, it needs to be you snapping the lower body forward. Yeah. Because my legs have always just been stationary, so it's yes. naturally just this. For sure. That's exactly it. Right. So it's good, it's good that you, you can feel all of this change. Yep. Okay, let's try to really tr add some pop to it, okay? Okay. So like, I'll do one normal sequence. Sure. Yeah, let's do one more at normal effort. Not hit great. That's okay. Still flew pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of the activation drills we'll do is just movement drills with sticks or various other objects right. just to teach you how to like sequence up your body to fire at the, the right, right time and at, at right order and the right amount of conviction right all right let's let's see some at 10 of the 10 activation so max slide and then like max unload that's different that's really different yeah it's got another Ever eight yards in it, I guess. That's Wanna really, do that? That's a really good first try. 138 again, good. But club speed jumped up there. Eh? Yeah, a couple miles an hour. 104. That's, that's a really good first try. That's hit really bad. Yeah, that's, that, that didn't look as well as the last one. No. 
Like you still slid. I just don't think the downswing had the same amount of conviction no. in it as the first one. I'm, I think I'm just getting a little. I'm getting too much going in my head at yeah. the same time. So just slide and just like literally like rip at it. Doesn't even matter where the ball goes. Lost my balance a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, that first try was still the best try, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yes. That was a hit. Yeah. How'd that feel? Better. I think the the first motion in the backswing, I probably need to like spend some time, even just making some backswings for at sure. home. Because like, I'm getting like for me to think about that, I think I'm getting here. I'm kind of blanking out, and then just kind of gotcha, kinda, gotcha. So for me to let that be for now, yeah, it's then a, it's I a, can feel this. Yeah, and it's a different starting point now. Different starting. Yeah, point. you gotta get yeah. used to a different starting point. Yeah, I like it. Let, let's try a few more, and we'll try something in the driver. Okay. Eh? But that first one you did was actually quite a good first try you did there. Yeah, I definitely haven't matched one up quite as well. I mean, these are good. I'm, I'm happy with these because they uh -huh. don't, they're not crossing right anymore. Uh -huh. Which to me makes me feel that the club is at least yes, trailing exactly. my body a bit. Exactly, way better. And you're still gripping it firmly? Probably too firmly. <laughs> uh, come on, no such thing as that. No, those are like the uh -huh. bad, honestly, the only bad ones I hit, I think, are just me, like just catching a bit, yeah. of, a bit of turf. Okay, let's try one more. But like the, the dispersion is so much better today than it was the last oh, time yeah. we met. Definitely. There's only like a couple of shots right at the target, but nothing curved off the green. Yeah, for a six iron, I'm happy with those. If I'm on or near the green, it's yeah, not bad. Let me go grab another tee. Okay. That sounded good. Yeah, that's better. All right. Throw a dot on this uh, driver face. What's that? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you got the whole, you got the spool of them now. What's that? He said you got the real dispenser now. Yes. Got the reload. I got room in here with this post? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, people have hit here numerous times. Makes sense of what we're trying to do with that backswing? Yeah, definitely. I'm probably gonna work on them in just different parts. Yes. Like honestly, sure. I think I could I could if I'm bored at home or something, you I feel like I could with a mirror and just do and work on this. Uh-huh. To the I point like where that. I go to the range and that happens a bit on its own. For sure. I like it. And I'd rather go to the range and work on this motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, piecing the two pieces together now. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's oh let me move the green back. But yeah, try incorporating that slidey feel into this right now, if you can, and we'll see what happens. Love that ball flight though, Matt. Yeah, I like to see it starting a little left, it's nice. I like it. Nice push draw, 170, pretty good. It's like way more neutral than it used to. Like honestly, my the funny thing is like my driver, I've been hitting better than my my irons. Huh. Like way better. Interesting.
that was like pretty like low effort there. Yeah, pretty. I was just focusing on the on that the uh, finish. Yeah. Okay. Nice, good, really good. It definitely feels a lot better on the way through. Well, it's definitely, I think, the least amount of curvature we've seen together with each other in yeah. here, I think. Yeah, true That was 173. Which yeah, that's nice to see. A little quicker. Especially like you're not really like going at it either, it doesn't look like. No. It's good. Well, for me, I think for now, my going at it is all yeah, this. for sure. So I'm trying to protect against I almost feel like I get here and yes, then here and yes. then I sort of go after it. I like it. it. I like it for sure. Because otherwise I'm sure I'll but just... But definitely the slidey feel now will help you Yeah, I get transition get... into what we want to do. Like for a little bit of a toey miss, uh -huh. it's funny. It's actually not curving right anymore. It's, it's awesome. I mean, it's like a, it's just a slight push draw that just barely has any draw spin on it. Yeah. yeah which I'd, is great. I would be happy with that. Wasn't wasn't hit yeah. great. Still 168 on the, on the miss hit. Yeah, but the one before was amazing. Yeah, that was the one for sure. That that's, sounded really good. Yeah, a little, little, little toe, toe side like toe though. side, but yeah, in terms of fine. like it's low and kind of not great, but it didn't curve that much, right? Uh huh. Yeah, so good though. Yeah, 167 and a half, not bad. Yeah, it was like, it, it sounded, sounded better than it was, it was eh? It hit like here. <laughs> I love the toe side. I know. Well, I don't mind hitting on the toe if it only curves 20 yards. For like sure. that's, I'm fine with that. Dude, I like that too. Yeah, Low push? Just a bit low on the face. Like all these are definitely... It's just spinny, yeah. Yeah. All these are a lot more in control. Well, the funny thing is, I think honestly... too. Oh yeah, because for me, the way that I generally come through the ball, yeah. I think I take a lot of loft off the driver. So it's possible that I might start, I might start spinning it more with this um, motion. <clears throat> I can always go shopping if I need to. Yes. <laughs> I know a guy. Every Monday is a shopping day. <laughs> but I mean, it'd be a great problem to have if I would, I would your... happy to see like spin come back because I, I've been like so low spin for uh -huh. so long now. That right, it's almost like sure. silly how low the spin's been. 173 again, good, really good. So it's, I think the funny thing is, the sequencing of it, getting, getting the yeah. club more behind me. I'm actually tending to leave them a little left, which is fine. And Cause, I, cause but these I, aren't fading. It's just no. But I also like, I, I'm sure I'm aiming a bit left too. Like I've been really getting used to aiming left. Uh -huh. I could probably aim a little bit more neutral. Well, yeah, just I mean, just you know me. I like I like keeping things pretty neutral at setup. Yeah, I've probably been favoring like that side a bit. Yeah, that felt nice. But you're like these. You're launching these pretty nicely. And there's a lot, like a lot more spin now. That's three thousand. That's great. Like, honestly, I haven't spun a ball at 3,000 yeah. in, uh -huh. in like six months. And right. the strike was the decent. Progress. There. Okay, swinging it fast. Good, really good. This is nice to see. Yeah, it's actually a completely different ball. For, like, I'm obviously exaggerating it a ton, so yeah. I don't think the ball would go left on the golf course, but. Nope. 173 again. I mean, I don't. The last time we met, you definitely didn't have like four in a row no. at once at one seventy. No, I don't. Haven't been touching one seventy three. But it's way better now. That looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially for a driver. Yeah. And then see how it stays. Your head's actually your head and upper body is actually behind the lower body a little bit. True. And less chase. Yeah, it doesn't have as much of like that motion to for it. For sure, it's so much better. But like even just a top position alone is giving you so much better chance at creating speed now, right? Yeah. Oh, true enough. For fun, let's just the next five try some at like. Ripping at it, okay? Just for fun. We'll okay. see what happens. What a good backswing. That's nice. It's crazy. It actually has spin on it. That ball actually has spin on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm curious what that was. 25 at least? Yeah, 75. That's, Amazing. So that's fast and, and actually and has 20, a bit of backspin. 2400 spin. That's crazy. That was good to see. 
Because this driver, honestly, whenever we're testing, it's yeah. like 1,900 is like the average yeah, or two at good. most. But I think it's also, it also shows like what you said, you, you felt like you always kind of came across it with so little loft, right? This, yeah. Okay. I, I, think so. I think that's part of it, right? Yeah. Delivering here. And also, versus... remember how I tried to get you to down hinge more, release a little bit earlier yeah. to get the speed up. And yeah. that should, but by doing that, that should give us more loft and impact. Less of this. For sure. Yeah. Which is definitely showing up right now, right? Yeah, like that one being 175 is probably as fast as I've swung this first, season, first I guess. try too. Hopefully yeah. it goes up from here. Good. But Actually, you're loading very well right now with, with the driver. Like loading it left, that's ripped. That one probably is faster. But it's nice to see these distances are not the knuckleballs. No, they're not knuckleballs at all. That's 20... 176 at 2200 spin. Yeah. That's really good. That's a good flight. Really good. Yeah, 13 launch at 176 at 2200 spin is amazing. That was 13 launch? Yeah. So launch for sure, 11 is like the highest I've been all year. I can't get it over 11 ever. That's good. So this that's a promising. substantial difference then. Well, and it shows that, we, again, we're not going so far over past the ball anymore, right? Yeah. This is so good. That's making a big difference. Good. That's, especially like for like it's good miss, totally. but especially for the driver too, right? Like obviously we're not going to get the six iron that much faster. No, nor do I need. I don't need it to either. Sure. No, I don't but want it's, it. But it's working through it in the irons first to get comfortable with the mechanics before I bring it to the driver. Yep. Because you know me, I don't really like working on too much mechanics with the driver. No, you want to get some yeah. some freedom for sure. Swing just usually shows up after working hard on it with the irons. Yep. Really good, but even that last miss hit, eh? 174 on that miss, it was. It had a lot of speed. That was hit. Good. That one was hit good too. I don't think it's going to be 176, but it was fast. A lot more stable looking ball. Like it just For doesn't sure. look like it's curving. 175. 23. Yeah, yeah 23 that's. Spin. Dude, that's so much better. At 175. Yeah, that's so much I like better. It. And the main priority is just like loading on the back screen right now, right? That and I'm really feeling okay. this. They're still trying to feel some of that too. Oh yeah, big okay, time. Good. Yeah, big time. I'm probably focusing on that more than anything else. It definitely looks different. I, was, that, I, just, I just wasn't sure if it was a result of you loading more or if you're actually trying to do it. No, I'm definitely trying to do okay, it. Okay, cool. Really that one good. I really tried to feel. Like it's hanging in the air, eh? Yeah. I like to see that. We haven't honestly. seen you hanging in the air like no. that for a long time. No. At twenty six hundred spin, yeah. thirteen. I honestly haven't been anywhere near that. That's good. All year, like that would that would be me using like a ten and a half driver, basically. <laughs> but like the cool thing is, like, I don't think we've had you this big of a stretch where you're 174, 175, 174, 176, 174 yeah. and a half, and then two, two missed hits. Oh, Definitely. That, that, that was the, before we started trying to rev, rev it up. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. And the launch, and, yeah, the launch is very consistent, aside yeah, from that consistent. one that I towed. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely like the feeling of that, the finish. That's the big, that probably that's the biggest missing piece for me. Because mm -hmm. I've really always wondered what the hell like this nonsense yes. is from. Nice. Really making sure you're finishing properly because of the movement, yeah. not just you faking in the finish. Or physically trying to keep exactly. my head back I don't here. want you tilting back because mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's back to square one, what you're well, doing. Well, for sure. Because now I think my legs are actually here yeah. more. And then you push up. Nice, good. not hit well That's but okay for fun i want you to try a couple for me where you feel like at the top of your backswing like you're still loading it to your left yeah but when you feel like you're really like down hinging releasing as hard as you can okay. you know what i mean so from here like there yeah along with everything else this is why we're, we're just kind of doing this for fun doesn't matter where the ball goes because it's hard to do all of this yeah yeah But I would be very curious to see if you're able to do it. So it's basically like a hand speed thing? No, just a more release release the club as much as you can. Okay. I don't think I can swing any faster than that. <laughs> that was hit nice too. 
That should be my fastest one, I hope. 175. Oh, it's comparable. 123. Not bad. Not bad. Try, try like three more, just doing that. Good. Like the comparison will be, be like the reason why I have you doing that is really making sure you're getting rid of all your speed right. into before the ball or into the ball, and not having anything left over after the ball. And not you know like I mean? not lagging it basically. Not, la not holding in your angles or anything. Right. So that that's that, that's the feel of the down hinge. Mm. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. So it's just trying to get rid of all your speed as early as you can. Yes. Let's try it. That was a good one. Maybe just a little bit low on the face, but yeah, felt really nice. Spinny, man. It's very uh, different. It's never crazy. Had, never had a spinny problem no. before. That's probably 28 at least. Yeah. 74, good. Crazy. Yeah. All right, let's try one more. I'll give you a two-minute break. We're swinging quite a bit here right now. Yeah, swing one more. Max effort, max effort, OK? Max effort. Max effort. 10 out of 10 on the activation scale. I don't care where the ball goes. Just max effort. Ooh, that's a nice ball flight too, eh? Yes, the straightest one. Holy cow, that's flying nice. Go! That felt pretty good? Yeah. It's got to be up there. 176.2, not bad. I like it. Manageable? Definitely, yeah. I honestly feel like if we, if we like hung out here all night, I think we can get to 180. Get some dinner energy and then do it. Yeah, probably. Get some dinner energy. Yeah, but that's it's up four or five from, from last your, week. I think like literally you're, you're from last confidently week. Confidently averaging it like this right now. Like four, uh, 74, 75 really right now like is it. a comfortable hit. How much engagement do you feel like you have right now in your leg muscles, in your core, and your forearms? Like I know you say you don't lift weights, but you know, imagine if you were trying to lift weight, lift something heavy, you'd have to really brace everything to push yeah. that bar up, right? Yeah. Like how much engagement and activation do you feel like you have right now in your body? Probably some. Not, but probably not. Probably not like your the not most. Not near your potential, I would no. say. No. Because it doesn't look like it. No. Part of it is like, I guess it's all my perception based on where I've been. Right. At address and even like starting the sequence of my swing. Right. But I think as I get a little bit more comfortable that the club is not doing this. Yes. I think I'll start to feel the yeah, ability sure. to you push can, it. You can bit. move that focus away yeah. to actually engaging this more. I think so, yeah. Okay, good. I like it. Okay, one more. Yeah, one more. Really full activation, full release, full flow, okay? Ooh. It's it close. A little toey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for normally that toe miss is bad. Like, that's just right of the green. That's like what my old good shot looked like. Yeah, that had no spin on Knuckle it. Knuckleball, 14. But even that was at 13, 14. Yeah. Not too bad. Try one more, try one more. So go to the top for me. So load the left. Okay, so you're going to really feel like as you, as you squat and rotate, you're doing this, the down hinge, and you're squeezing all of this too. You're, everything is squeezed to rip at the ball, okay? If you don't squeeze, you can't generate force, okay? Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, good. Let's try. Full squeeze here. Ooh. It's probably a little bit smoother than you were looking for, yeah. but it hit really well. It was hit good. It just wasn't, I mean, it's... A lot, a lot of energy being used when we're trying to go yeah. at it, right? I'm, I'm feeling some fatigue for sure. Yeah. But it's looking good. Yeah, like that's that. still 172, 2400. But I love seeing this chain here, right? 174 and a half, 176, 174, 175, yeah. 174, one miss hit, 175, 174. 174, 176. But no 160s. And if you like sure. club head speed wise, I was mostly like 118, 119. Yeah, like last couple weeks, none sure. of them, were, none of them were 120 except for like the like, very. If you, yeah, if you look at the first few. Right? I think the first time when we switched, when we loaded more, you spiked it up to 174.6, right? Yeah. Which is, which is, this one here. Yeah, yeah, that was the first. The first few here were in, in your 120s, but then you see how you slowly got 121, 122, 125, 123. Yeah. 
122 and a half, 123, 123 and a half. It's nice to see the delivery getting a lot more neutral. Oh my like God. Three so in and like three, three up is way sure. better than it's been. And my sure. efficiency is usually, honestly, is usually like 1.39 or eight. I think I'm definitely getting a lot more out of it. Well, you're, there is no 1.3 today. No, there's not even one in there. Except for one earlier. Yeah. But a lot of four, four twos, four threes, which is great. Really good. I like it. You fatigued? I can do two more. Yeah. But I want full energy, okay? Okay. Because you know what you need to work on for the mechanics? So just literally try to full energy, full activation, okay? Okay. Let's see what happens. Full activation. I'm not used to seeing this ball travel so slow because it looks it's so spinny. You <laughs> it's know? very different, <laughs> but it's good. I think. Well, I'm, what was that one? One seventy. Like that's I, yeah, to me. I would rather err on like sure. twenty three ish because it's it's it straight. Yeah, especially when you have one seventy four. Yeah. Play at whatever spin you want. I know it doesn't. Really matter. I mean, don't play at thousand, but at into the wind and stuff like twenty three. I think is fine. Yeah, one seventy four ball. So you have the luxury of picking whatever ball flight you want. Yeah, and then if you hit one a little high in the face and it goes yeah. like eighteen, then you'll probably exactly. hit it like ten yards hit, further. Exactly. Let's try one more. Let's go one seventy seven here. Okay. So max what was that last one? 74? 174. Slow, very good. Yeah, so max low and then max unload. Okay, full squeeze. Ball speed will be low because I struck it low. Uh -huh. But that club speed must have been up there, though, because I swung really Man, fast. It's very, like I said, very not used to seeing this ball travel like this in the sim right now. It's really nice. <laughs> I really like to see some spin on it. Yeah, 176. Okay, that was good. good. So, yeah, like you said, 2600 uh, spin. That's too bad because I struck that low on the face. I at bet you that. So, you saw that 124. Yeah. That probably could have been 177 because I hit it low on the face. At least. Let's try one more. All right. <laughs> but, like, one yard offline is amazing. No, like, that. well, if you look at even the very worst one, uh -huh. first of all, none of them are left, which is cool. Oh, yeah. And then like, even the worst hook is probably, like, 25, right? Which is pretty And that was, like, so, like, so, so, so toey for what... Oh, it was brutal, yeah. ...we've seen today. Yeah, so most of them are kind of in that region. Okay, that's good. All right, one more. Yeah, really full, full activation, okay? That one had less spin. Yeah, did it uh -huh. ever. That's the longest drive of the day. It might not be the fastest, though. Go to 350. Oh, no. Maybe just, just not just quite not as spin. fast. But Definitely made a big before, difference. You swing it fast, eh? That swing before? Yeah, that was a really fast swing. It's funny. I think a lot of it is the sequencing of it makes a big difference. Yeah, and you can feel, like, you yourself felt it was considerably faster, you felt yeah. like. Yeah, I didn't feel like I, I swung harder, to be honest with you. However, I felt like a lot more speed came off of it. Gotcha. Probably based the on the way that I, I guess I started my downswing. So swing. what, I guess, can you, can you feel that what was the difference in your sequencing that helped you with that? To me, it, this, the difference in the sequencing is when I feel like I've really squatted and then made this motion. Yes. My hands are here more. Behind you more. The, the club kind of feels like it slingshots into the ball. Yes, exactly. So when Whereas, you squat and rotate, things stay yeah. behind you. It feels like that. Yes. Like there's sort of a delayed. And then just just explodes. Yeah. Whereas the ones where I just try to hammer it, I think my hands get a little more here. Because you also don't get low enough. No, I don't. I don't think there's okay, any yeah. of this to start I like with. Like that. And that goes back to what we were talking about when you can squat and rotate. Well, one when we load the left, you're more behind the ball. Yeah. And when you squat and rotate properly, your upper body stays behind the ball. For which sure. Which is helping you create that delay on when the speed actually. Yeah. Kind of funny enough, we're trying to get the speed out. Yeah, not so, trying to like hang on to it. But. Exactly. Okay, last one. Yeah, last one. Let's really, really try here. Uh, nice squat and rotate. Nice, 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 nice bounce there. Good. Love that. Love that rehearsal. So 
So that's one that I think will have some decent speed, even though I didn't really end up swinging that hard. I think the contact was it, how was it contact? A bit low. Yeah, it sounded not the greatest. But it's still, still one twenty four. Yeah, still one twenty four at one seventy four. Yeah, like those are the ones that feel kind of like sneaky fast, where I didn't really feel like right. I hit it hard. But it I would had, love to see one with that sequencing where I push. Hit hit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it'd be it'd be interesting. Let's try one more for fun. Like it's in there somewhere. It's yeah. just a question of. And the funny thing is, like, I, I guess I think there's still more to have, but this is a great lead in into what we're gonna do in the yeah. off season. Oh, definitely. Because would you say this is probably the fastest you 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 felt by far. swinging the club? Oh yeah, by far. Yeah, that's good by a long shot. I used to be able to sniff that amount once in a while, but uh -huh. my swing used to be this long. For sure. So there's a big difference between. And it wasn't playable. You could. No. I don't think you could bring that to the course because. Well, I wouldn't have a pattern like that. Right. No. I didn't bring it to the course. I used my three iron off. <laughs> yes, I remember the the <laughs> April and May rounds. I see there, Bray. An absolute. An iron display yeah, off so, the tee. So do a one nice rehearsal like you did on the previous swing, because I really like that rehearsal. Yep. And you swing and rotate. Yes. Yes. I love that. Good. All right. So really give it everything into the ball. Full effort here. Low on the face. Yeah. If you hit low on the face, you're actually not releasing your angles out. Hanging on to it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really in balance whatsoever. Yeah, let's try one more. We can't end on that one. That's better. Wow, that actually had like no spin compared to the other ones. Struck a little high toey, but the yeah, like this, the speed is consistently up. That's good. 174, kid. I like it. Again, it's just a question of the two happening at the same time. Yes. Like Which that. I think we'll, 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 we'll get within the next month. Yeah. All right, no cool. doubt. Especially when we like stop playing golf and it, the focus shifts solely on improving. Yeah, I'm not worried what about what I'm doing on the course. Yeah. yeah, true enough. But the good thing is you can bring this on the course. Right now, yeah, totally. Yeah, you can totally I'm going to feel, like when I go out and play tomorrow, I'll feel that finish is going to be. Yeah, and the, but, and the, and the, lo the slidey load on right. the backswing, right? That's pretty good. What's that? That was pretty well hit. See, really the only one that I've curved kind of But it's severely. funny because even when you hooked that one, it still had spin on it. Yeah, it's true. That was just path, I guess. Got a little... 176? No, really. it's, it's probably just your, your face was probably a little it's bit too close. Face. Yeah. That was good, the 176? Yeah. I like it. Should we call it or should we want to try one more? No, let's call it. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good one to end on. Let's, let's call it. <laughs> it's a good one to end on. <laughs> yeah, so hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions, leave in the comments below. And hopefully next time we can we can get into the 180 club. Maybe not next time. Maybe before before the off season ends. We'll before, definitely, before Christmas? Yeah, join, yeah, I think that's a good goal for us. Before right. Christmas, join the 180 club before the PGA golf show. We got a couple months to do it. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time.